Hey guys, what's going on? Rodolfo here, and I'm with a very special friend, Karina from uh, Nina Talks, and she won three times in a row uh, the scholarship. So we're going to talk to her a little bit today, and maybe she can give you a few tips also about how wh what you ca what you can do to win uh, next year. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Karina. Hi, how are you guys? So, um, talk a little about yourself. What, what do you do? How, how did you get into iOS development? And I know you've been to the academy. Yeah. And was that your first uh, contact with programming? Or w what do you do? So, uh, my name is Karina. I'm 22 years old. And I studied computer engineering in college. And when I saw the Apple Developer Program, uh, it was my first internship. It was my second year in university. So it's my first contact with iOS. I've done some classes in, in college of programming, but really basic C programming skills. So uh, I, the, the Apple Developer Academy was my, my first contact with a real um, programming language uh, uh, oriented objects language. So. I guess that's it. <laughs> so, um, three times in a row. Uh, what's your secret? What what is, what is it that you think is, that you did to win so consistently? So, uh, during my my time in the Apple Developer Academy, I found out my love for UX design. So, I started studying UX design as I was studying programming. So I found that this completed me. So I, I could be uh, do a, an app from the end to from the beginning to the end all by myself because I, I knew how to to do the interface and I knew how to do the programming. So how the challenge uh, are individual? I could do all the part and I could focus a lot on the design because I guess most people focus uh, focus only on the programming. So I try to do things that are really visual. I try to do some th things that are innovative. As we saw in the Apple Design Awards, they try to see things that are innovative. They use the technology and do the design. So I try to hit these three things in the in my app. So I guess that's the the tip. And I, and I guess the the biggest tip is to look for something that you really love to to show to the to the people that are going to see our apps because you need to put your heart in it and show that it's something that you really love. And I guess this is the, the biggest part, the, the biggest thing you can do for your app. Do you think that the letters um, are important. as important as the playground, less important, more important? Uh, I guess the letters are more important than, than people normally think. Uh, I Sometimes I think that they might read the letter before they see the apps. And I guess you really need to show why you choose to do that. Because the they say, do a Swift Playground with three minutes that are interactive. So why did you choose that subject? Because uh, you could do anything. So you really need to show why you, you chose that. Uh, this year, I chose to do about um, women at NASA because I went to, to NASA in February and I got really inspired there. So I, I said that all in my letter. I went there, all the women there inspired me and everything like that. Uh, and last year, I did about color blindness because uh, a friend that works with me is colorblind, so I tested the app with him. So it's something that is from my, my daily basis. And the other year, my first year as a, as a scholarship, I did it about human organs for kids. It's something that I really like. I, lo I love to study. Uh, yeah, you remember, you were here with me. So I, I always try to choose something that I'm really passionate about, and I try to show how this is important for me. Uh, shifting gears a little, you started a Instagram profile called Nina Talks, talking a lot about UX design and geek culture in, uh, uh, in general, uh, lots of Star Wars and <laughs> stuff like that. I just wanted you to talk a little about the profile. Why did you decide to create it? And what is it that, that you talk about there? And a little bit about, like, there are so many platforms to do this today. And Instagram is amazing. Uh, but I see that you do a lot of videos in there. So why not YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I started in a talks because I saw there was a bit of lack of content 
and girls talking about technology in Brazil. There are almost any content in girls talking about technology and UX design and programming skills in, in Brazil. So I wanted to create some content in Portuguese for people and the feedback is being great. And I found out other girls that are doing the same. So we are helping each other to grow and show people the power of girls in this area. Yeah, we're totally building a community. And I've always wanted to share my knowledge and my experience and everything that I'm passing through, uh, all my struggles and all my conquers. So uh, I always wanted to share that. I used to share it to my friends. And they always told me I had to share with more people that it, that it isn't good just to keep it for us. So uh, I started this year. The project is doing really great. Uh, and I choose Instagram because it's a platform that I most use. So I'm on Instagram all day, so I thought that it would be great. And I have so little time in my life. I'm always going there and blah. <laughs> so uh, YouTube, you have to have uh, consistency and post every week. So it would be really hard for me. So yeah, it's, it's, yeah uh, it's you know it's. <laughs> I, I've been posting like once a month, so. <laughs> so it's really, really hard. Uh, I, I intend to go to YouTube. But I don't know when. I guess this year, uh, because I have, I love talking. That's why it's Nina talks. <laughs> so I try to go to YouTube, but I began in Instagram because it would be easier for me to to share and to it's be. Yeah, it's to be there every day for people and talk to them and answer them, so that's it. <laughs> well, thank you for sitting down with me uh, today for this uh, talk. You guys can follow her at Nina Underline Talks on Instagram. I'll leave all your socials down below in the description. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye.